Okay, here in the source text folder, I have a small Word document that looks like this. There's a title in bold and there are two paragraphs and in the second paragraph there's a portion of text which is underlined. And we will be translating this uh, document using a CAD tool called Acros Personal Edition. So let's switch to Acros and uh, the user interface of Acros is a bit crowded and in the what do you want to do section we'll select the project wizard and here I click on next and I'll call this project uh, Eurobarometer and um, I'll add a file and uh, this is the file that I just showed you here open and next I'll accept the default project settings and the default reporting template and uh, the rest I'll leave it as it is. So I'll click on next. The source language is English and it's uh, United Kingdom and the target language is French. So I'll click on next. And here under configure, I'll select uh, uh, splitting settings. And basically what it is, it's uh, uh, about segmentation. And by default, uh, across segments by paragraph. And I want to segment by sentences, like in most other CAD tools. So I'll tick this setting here and uh, I'll click on OK. And OK. and next. Now I have a workflow that consists of uh, translation and uh, the task type is document translation. So finish. And now I have uh, this task here that consists of a document translation and uh, I'll open here and uh, now across displays the document so it's uh, the interface is a tabular one two columns in the left column I have the source text and the right hand column which is empty is for uh, translations but the active target segment is at the bottom here so this is where I'm going to enter my translation so I'll enter the first part and then the second one here so that's it and to move to the next segment I'll use this button here next like this and now the active segment is the one highlighted in uh, blue and I'll also translate it quickly like this okay and again I can move to the next segment that's also alt down arrow and now I have my third segment so I'll enter the translation like this and I have a bookmark uh, in the middle of the word uh, biannual and uh, just in case I'll uh, copy the bookmark by double clicking it to the same location, so after the corresponding word, semestriel. And that's it. And now I'll move to the next segment. And that's the last one, so I'll enter it quickly, like this. And here I had a portion of text which was uh, underlined. The most effective actor in French is uh, l'acteur le plus efficace. So I'll select this portion and I'll use this 
icon here to underline it. So it's uh, what you see is what you get uh, in Acros. I'll click next again. And now Acros tells me I have reached the end of the document, yes. And uh, now I can see that the status of each segment, well, there are three possible statuses. The first one is untouched and then touched, which is what I have. And then I have translated. So I could review my translation and press Alt R to mark the segment as translated. Or I can do everything in one go via tools. I can mark all paragraphs as translated. So this should finalize my translation. There are a few quality check settings. Well, it's OK. So I'll finish the task and OK. And now I'll click on store and finish. So now in the what do you want to do section, I'll select uh, Checkout Wizard and I'll click on Next. And now I have this project that I want to export. And next, uh, this document is the one that I have finished. And yes, Checkout. And now I can uh, choose where to save the document I want to export. So I'll use uh, uh, this Acros folder that I have created on my desktop. And I don't want to create subfolders. And I'll be using the standard language names. And uh, check out. That's it. Finish. And now if I go to the Acros folder on my desktop, I should find the exported translated document. And if I open it, it looks like this. So it has the same layout as the original English uh, document. So the title is in bold. I have my two paragraphs and I have uh, my underlined text in the second paragraph. So that's, that was how to translate uh, a small Word document using Acros Personal Edition. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.